You've got two minutes. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Something had me by the throat and it was draining the life out of me. I was fully aware that my life was slipping away. I couldn't stop what was happening to me. At the last moment I could see my eternity and it was the most darkest, terrifying blackness that I could imagine. Now that was the experience of Aaron when he had glandular fever. He said that the one thing that was on his mind was Jesus. And then with every ounce of strength that he could muster, he cried out to Jesus. And then he felt himself pulled away from this darkness. Now for the first time, Aaron said he prayed and he thanked God and he said to God, he'll do whatever God wants him to do. Now a week later, Aaron met an elderly couple on a plane. Now this elderly couple was Christians, they were Gideons and they gave him a little Bible like this and showed him the road to salvation. Now that night, Aaron gave his heart to the Lord and uh, so and today Aaron is a Gideon and he serves the Lord and he, Aaron uh, goes around and he shares a program which is called Share Jesus Without Fear and uh, now this program teaches you to ask five questions and the first question is, do uh, you have any spiritual belief when you speak to people? Uh, and the second question is to you, who is Jesus? Now, one morning, uh, me and Aaron was here outside, uh, I had an office here at the corner of King Street and Murrayfield Road. And we were out there on the hub in front of the council building and we were speaking to people there. And uh, I walked over to Aaron and see how he's doing. He was speaking to, say, to some young people. And when he asked that second question, to you, who is Jesus? You know what their response was? We've never heard of him. That's what they said. Now friends, there's work to do. Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no one, can, no one can work. Now, the Gideons uh, is an international association uh, of uh, businessmen and their wives, and uh, we are now established in 200 countries. Gideon started in 1899, uh, and so it's about 120 years that we're going. Uh, in Australia, we started 1956, that's 62 years. Now Gideons uh, are all members of uh, evangelical churches and in Australia <coughs> there's 3,100 members. Worldwide there's 270,000 members and uh, we distribute the Word of God. It's now 101 languages that we do uh, distribute the Word of God. Now it's no secret that our aim is to win others uh, for uh, Jesus Christ. And we do this uh, by personal witnessing or distributing the Word of God. Um, Luke Harris, uh, he told us that when he was in grade 11 at uh, Calandra State High School here, uh, he said that the Gideons came to his school to hand out the Bibles. He said some of the students uh, trashed the Bibles, but he said when he received his, he treasured it. And he wrote in the, uh, uh, on the first page, he wrote God's audible voice. Now after the distribution, he went to the uh, vice uh, 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 principal and he asked him if there's uh, some more of these scriptures. And there was 30 more. And... Uh, so during lunch break, Luke would speak to his fellow students at school. And over the course of that year, uh, uh, 23 other students came to the knowledge of Jesus. And he gave each of them also a little Bible. Today, Luke is pastoring a church 
in uh, uh, Sydney. Um, uh, now, the Gideons also went to school where Julie Melio uh, was teaching. Now, she was an atheist. Uh, uh, she lives here near the Glasshouse Mountains. And she said she just took a scripture and kept it there on a bookshelf and it remained unopened for years. It's about, but she said after about six years, she went through a rough time in her life and she even considered to take her own life. And uh, so then she took off this little Bible and uh, from a shelf and uh, she said to God, God, I'll give you one month and you've got to show me the goods. So she started to read Matthew. And she said everything that she read, as she read the Gospel of Matthew, was as if God was just speaking to her. And uh, then she gave her heart to the Lord. And today she's married to a minister, and they are, they've got an international ministry, and they travel the world for the Lord Jesus. Now the Word of God is living, it's powerful, it's sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even uh, through the division uh, of soul and spirit. Now, there's a Samara. She was a student at the Australian National University at Canberra, and she was a Buddhist uh, studying there. Uh, from she was from Cambodia, and she was very antagonistic towards the Christians and their faith. But one day, at the residential college there where she was living. She picked up a little book like this from the floor and then she started to read it and then she went to her friend. She said, look what I found, look at this little book. And uh, this uh, friend was a Christian and told her that that's the Christian Bible. And then she surrendered her life to Christ. Now after study she returned, she's now back in Cambodia. She's uh, worked there as the senior advisor to the Deputy Prime Minister of Cambodia. She's also serving the Lord in her church as an elder. And she regularly breaks the Word of God, uh, the bread of life to the congregation where she worships our Lord and God and King. Now, can you see what this Word of God can do? You know what? Uh, heaven and earth will pass away, but this word will remain uh, forever. And uh, you can become part of this uh, eternal ministry by joining us as a Gideon or become a friend of the Gideons. You can support us by praying for us and, and pray that the doors remain open uh, to give out scriptures. And also you can pray that... Uh, more and more students take up the scriptures. When we go into the schools, we're not allowed to hand it out anymore. We put it there on a table these days. That's what we are allowed to do. And uh, then the students come and take up Bibles. But it's sadly some of those children just walk past. They are just like Samara was, antagonistic towards the Christians and their faith. You can participate in the card program uh, and uh, now the Gideons hand out uh, these scriptures at the rate of 2.7 every second. Now just to put it in perspective, since I started to speak to you, it's about 1,400 of these scriptures went out somewhere in the world today and it's just continuing. Now. Uh, of this 200 countries that the Gideons are in, only 10 of them are self-supporting. So in other words, there's only 10 countries, and Australia is one of those blessed countries that can uh, uh, financially pay for their own. The other countries need our help. You know, Gideons pay their own way. We've got to, wherever we fly, wherever we go, all our administration we pay ourselves. Every dollar the churches or, or communities uh, give to the Gideons, we just convert into scriptures. And Gideons are basically just the churches and the Christians 
feed. We take uh, the funds converted to scriptures and give it out somewhere in the world. And as I said, 2.7 out every second. Thank you very much for the opportunity to share with you once again. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you. Michael, would you like to come and pray for this organisation? Thank you. Barry. Where's Barry? Yes? Yes. Good. <laughs> Barry and Trevor, lovely to have you with us. Have a look at their table, uh, pick up some literature. If you're able to support or help, I'm sure they'll be very keen to, to hear from you. But let's pray. Father God, we thank you for the work of Gideons and Gideons International uh, across our country and across the world. Lord, we thank you that your word is going out. Your word is alive and your word is reaching uh, people at those crossroads of life, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for using men and women. Thank you for that we're still able to distribute your word in, in schools across our nation. Father God, we thank you for that they will grab that scripture, they'll read it, it'll be just what they need, Lord God. And we thank you that you will meet people where they're at. We thank you for the positive testimonies and stories. We thank you that uh, your word is alive. Lord, bless uh, Barry and Trevor, Lord. Bless other Gideons uh, in our midst, Father God, who... Share the good news of what you're up to. You share positive stories of faith, life, hope, and transformation. So, Lord, we thank you for this work. Bless them in their work. Bless the Gideons, we pray, across our state, Lord God, and we thank you for them, for this vital work, that your word is alive and active. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.